On WUSA 9 at 530, Pennsylvania is having some catastrophic flooding right now. Look at these pictures. And if you're near the Chesapeake Bay, it's likely to have an impact on you too in the next few days. These are shots of the Conowingo Dam on the Susquehanna River. This is flood water pouring through from Pennsylvania into the upper Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. And evacuations are now set for one Maryland town just downstream. Scott Broom is keeping an eye on the filth, pollution and debris that's now threatening the bay. Huge amounts of debris and incredibly filthy water here in Habitat Grace, Maryland at the top of the Chesapeake Bay. Just upstream here, Conowingo drawing big crowds, people watching the spectacle of this flood. I can't imagine the damage it could possibly do. A lot of limbs, a lot of trees. Did you see the porta potty? <laughs> it's moving fast. <laughs> I don't want to go swimming. <laughs> yes, we are going to evacuate. At and a short distance away in Port Deposit, Maryland, the flooding has begun and evacuations are now being planned. Wayne Tome Sr. is the mayor. Uh, not all of them, you know, will leave, but we encourage them to because the utilities will be shut down. We've been through it before, we know what to do. <laughs> uh, yes, very concerned. Uh, I have a lot of new furniture. And, the debris, uh, filth, and pollution from events like this in the past have turned the Chesapeake Bay into life-choking chocolate milk. There is the threat of fish kills from pollution. Already there are alerts up for boaters. Well, the debris and the one slot of this constant rainstorms is putting an enormous amount of runoff into the bay. And boaters today have got to be very, very conscious. If you see a stick in the water, there could be a tree underneath it. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. All right, by early tomorrow, the Conowingo is expected to throw open as many as 27 of its floodgates. That hasn't happened since Tropical Storm Lee back in 2011.